The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Samantha is an artist and a mother and thought she had a normal life until a mysterious disease changed everything. It's hard when you look in the mirror and you don't see you. I was first diagnosed with Graves' disease in August of 2017. I always look like I'm surprised and my eyes look like they're popping out of my head. I first started noticing that there was problems with my health in July of 2017. My health was awful, my heart was failing, I had awful tremors throughout my entire body. I had a very large pronounced goiter, loss of strength in my extremities, and I had very pronounced painful eyes. It was about six months postpartum when my symptoms first started appearing. I initially thought that it was just because I was out of shape from being pregnant, and then as the symptoms progressed, they got more and more concerning. When I first went to see the doctor, he told me that I most likely had MS like my father, and sent me on my way with a prescription for a head MRI. I saw a second doctor and he said as soon as he saw me, he knew what was wrong and he also told me that my heart was beginning to fail. If I had not gone to see the doctor when I did, he said within a few days, my body would start shutting down and there was a very good chance that I was not going to make it to my daughter's first birthday, which was three weeks away. The decision was made that my thyroid needed to be removed in order for me to get my health back and no longer be in jeopardy of losing my life. I have this beautiful, amazing daughter, and so dying was not an option. I got my thyroid removed in July of 2018, and almost immediately my symptoms started to subside. Um, for the first time in years, everything is essentially back to normal, except for my eyes. I feel bad because my daughter is missing out sometimes because of the, the side effects of what's going on with my eyes. I just want to be able to look in the mirror and finally see me and be able to give my daughter a normal life with her mom. Thankfully, there was still some hope. Today is surgery day. I am finally here to have my eyes fixed with Dr. Douglas, and I'm so excited. Really excited that Samantha is here today. We're going to move her eyes back into their normal position so that she doesn't have the bulging and pain that she's been afflicted with. We're doing both eyes at the same time and also recontouring her face. So we're going to go behind her eye and remove a little bit of fat and shave down some bone on both sides. All right, today is the big day. You ready for this? Yeah, as ready as I'm ever going to be. All right, well, we're going to do it. So the first step is just kind of starting to peel away and get underneath all of our tissue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down onto the more of the mid-face area, which we're going to end up lifting off and really supporting and giving her mid-face lift at the same time. And what we're doing now is just ablating one of the little tiny sensory nerves. She'll no longer have pain from this disease. So we're just taking this precision drill and just shaving away a little bit of the bone. That's the bone on the inside of the eye that we're removing. So we've taken the bone the whole way down and removed it. Her eyes are bulging forward, and we need to make more space behind her eyes. Now, the only way to do that is to suck out some fat. So you can see how the fat wants to come out, and then I just kind of let it come out. And so now that that's gone, we can start to close up and turn our attention to the other side. So everything went according to plan, and I think she's going to be really thrilled with the results. 